Okay. I was arrested. <laughs> I got arrested. Tuesday afternoon while I'm drinking my coffee. By the police department. <laughs> There's an FBI agent. He told me to quit putting up those terrible videos. I don't want to see another one of them. I don't want to have to see you again. I don't want to see you again. I told him, yes, sir, and I'm going to do what he said. But the cops were extremely friendly. They made sure I was comfortable. They went and got my shoes, my debit card, so I could pay my bond. I went to jail. They were very friendly. The magistrate was concerned about me. He was. He did. He didn't yell at me. He didn't. He didn't get mad at me. He was just, you know, saying that there are consequences when you do bad things. And one of the things that they charged me with was assaulting a female for measure her form. 16 years old. I do not remember who this was. The only thing I can think of is that person, the sweet frog. I was charged with damage to real property for spreading feces on the door. But I measured her arm a week before that. So when they brought, somebody brought the charge against me to reinforce the charge for spreading manure on the back door. Because I didn't measure her or I, we can, I can subpoena the video surveillance. I did not measure her arm, even try to measure her arm, the day I went and spread feces on her door. Now why did I do that? Because when I came into the sweet frog, she saw me, started laughing at me, started running towards the back door to show I couldn't see her. And... Basically, lately, since I've been fat, people have been laughing at me lately. Lately, You do not know how bad it is being pudgy and fat. How how the girls, girls look at you like you are... Who the fuck are you? Girls look like, like you like cross-eyed. Like, what the fuck are you looking at? When you look at them, why are you looking at me? Which is why I need to lose the weight. You do not know the discrimination you get when you're pudgy and fat. Nothing is uglier than a middle age man with a belly. Nothing. Nothing. Especially if he's got fucking thin hair. I'm the ugliest creature until I lose this fucking weight and get my hair transplant. Anyways... Well, they, they said I grabbed her arm and wouldn't let go. If you see, see my any of my videos where I measure forms, here's what I do. I put my form like this. When I take the video, I put my form to them like this and hold it like this so that the wrist doesn't slip. Because while I'm looking at I want to be keep, able to keep the wrist in place. When I look at the back of my elbow, make sure mine's longer than hers and make sure... It's truly that much longer, and not that our wrists have not slipped a few centimeters. It's an exact science, and I did not grab her arm. She allowed me to measure her arm. So, how's that? How's that assault? So I'm going to plead not guilty to that. I'll plead guilty to the spreading feces on the book door. I'll plead guilty to that. I did that. I confess. But anyways. Deprived of your civil rights. I had the debit card. But they didn't take debit cards at the jail. So. You know. There should be a law against. I thought. No. Uh, no. Uh exorbitant bail no forget it you know they were nice to me at that jail so you know I'm not gonna get mad at them but I will get mad I was involuntarily committed to the Lenore Memorial Hospital and they treated me like a leper 
It was hell. I went to hell for those three days. When it was time for meals, they didn't. If they did not give me my meals, I can't wait. They told me uh, lunch would be at eleven thirty, so I was waiting. I did not know that they set the mail the meal outside your cell, outside your room. So I went out. I looked at. I looked through the shade. The uh, what you call it, blinds. They uh, opened them. And saw it, it was eleven forty-five. So I opened the door. Where's my lunch? I asked. I I, I demanded. And she, and uh, one of the nurses on the computer was like, "They are, they've already had lunch." I'm like, "Why did not get one? Why did not? I why did not get one? Why did not get my, no breakfast?" And someone said, and she said. They tried. They they put it outside the door. Why didn't you get it? I'm like they didn't tell me. I was laying in my bed. Always, uh, I didn't. I stayed more. I spent more time in that bed than anything. Cause I was always tired. And finally, after I complained enough, they started knocking on my door to let me know my meal was ready. I told them I was allergic to white bread. A second day they when were there when they served me breakfast. What was on that dam? What was in that? Uh, even uh, on the first day that I told them I was allergic to naproxen, cause uh, causing my nose to bleed. Naproxen antibiotic and white bread. And he said we're gonna have to make a, a note of that. What the hell do I, they serve me on my second day for breakfast? But white toast. I stormed out the door. I thought I told you I was allergic to white bread. Can I please get a muffin to replace it? And they said, yeah, we'll get you a muffin. I had to ask. I waited 30 minutes. Still nobody came back with a muffin. I asked again. Well, well yeah, we'll, I asked for the nurse. I asked again. Yeah, we'll get you a muffin. And finally, uh, after asking three times, after an hour and a half waiting, they said one of the nurses said we don't have any muffins. Whenever I walked to the restroom, out of my room, to the restroom, my restroom was about two hundred feet away. No, 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 no a hundred, about fifty feet away outside my room, fifty to a hundred feet. The girls behind working there would look at me like. Who are you? What are you looking at me like that for? Looking at me like I was a fucking leper? They did not give me coffee. I asked them, do you have all high? They used to have coffee at the hospital. Look how fucking ugly I look. Fat and ugly. No wonder they look like... No wonder they looked at me like a leper. Because I'm so fucking goddamn ugly. I need to lose this fucking goddamn weight. You don't know this... Yeah... They said, well, we don't give coffee anymore. Some child got burnt. Because when somebody, when, when some child accidentally knocked it over on them. Let me tell you something. It's, time, it's high time the minority stopped telling the majority what to do. When I was a kid, I had to stuff my bumps and bruises, scraped knees. A, 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 a coffee burn is not going to kill a child. Get over it. It's part, it's part of the bumps and bruises and knocks it live. I think it's Matt, that makes me angry that we cannot enjoy a cup of coffee. I had a caffeine headache from hell. From hell, we cannot. The rest of us cannot enjoy a cup of coffee just because one little kid got burned by the coffee. Get the fuck over it, parents. Watch your children more carefully. Dan, the majority, the, the the minorities need to stop telling the majority what to do. This politically correct society of sissies, pussies, and wussies. Fuck you. You have my uttermost contempt. The child burned himself with the coffee. He'll fucking get over it. He'll fucking heal. They did later give me some uh, iced coffee. I hate iced coffee. I like my coffee hot. 
I like it with cream and very almost no sugar. And I like it strong. What else do they do? Okay. I butted head with one of the nurses. We had a shouting match. But she came back and we had a mutual respect from one another. So we patched things up and, you know, had respect from one another. Okay. The red tape. They do not care. They do not give a damn about you there. At that Lindo Memorial Hospital. Not a damn. The doctor came in and he, he was talking to me facetiously. I'm just trying to remember what he said. Oh, he's like, you're not going to spread manure on my bathroom, are you? Black man doctor? I'm like, no. Duh. I just got arrested for that shit. Why in the fuck am I going to do that again? Damn, what else happened? Give me a second, my memories, my short term memories fading. Fading. A lot of times I ask them for things. I ask for simple things like water or something. They didn't give it but they they I had to ask thirty minutes later. And sometimes I got what I asked was asking for other times I never got it. Oh, I just can't. I tried to get people's attention behind the counters. I'd call out, hey, sir, hey, ma'am. They paid me no rat's ass mine. There's this good looking blonde behind the counter. Every time I walked, if I my eyes met hers, she looked at me like, what the fuck you looking at? She didn't say that, but that's the, uh, that's what, that's the look she gave me. She didn't say that. She did not say that. Something else. I'm trying to remember something else that happened. Oh. I take Trazodone to go to bed. I, I told him. I need two Trazodone. I need one, 50 milligram Trazodone. I take one 30 minutes before I take my, uh, my other and go to bed. The first night, they she cooperated with me. The next night, they forced me to take all three. Uh, my subscription has three Trazodones. But I only take two now. I was able to wean myself down. But because it was on the red, red tape. They forced me to take all three of them. Instead of let me get by with two of them. As a result. I was tired all day the next day. Even now I feel like I'm about to pass out. From all those tread zones they forced me to take. They were not. They refused to give me my finesse drag. Now why do I my, now why do I take finesse right? This is a legitimate prescription, finesse ride. Keep me from losing my hair. I kept acting him. That every in the morning when they gave me my medication, they gave me everything, everything but my treasure on which they gave me at night. At least they did that. They did. They get, but they refused to give me my finasteride. Right? They kept. They kept hitting me hard. When? Why did I get my after my first day there? I'm like, where's my finasteride? Right? Oh. Uh. I'm not supposed. I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm supposed to get that finasteride. It's a legitimate prescription. Oh, we'll tell them. We'll get it to you tomorrow. The next day came. The next day came. I got no trazodone. No, no finasteride. Where's my finasteride? Give them time. We got. They got to get the doctor to say it. Get. I forgot what exactly how she put it. See how shitty my short term memories is. The third day, no trazodone, no finasteride. God fucking damn it. I could have gone bold had I stayed long enough. And I'm going to sue them for deprivation of my rights. I demand my goddamn rights. Like all the other 
people demanding their rights. I demand my rights and I'm going to sue the shit out of them for depriving me of my finasteride. I'm, I'm traumatized. I'm angry. I want my goddamn finasteride. I'd rather have the finasteride than I had my meals. I'd rather them not give me my meals, but give me my finasteride. Cause let's face it, if I go, if I lose any hair and get thin hair up front, look bald up front, I'm gonna waste the rest of my life being selfish, taking from people, not giving anything in, anything in return. If I had to be, already I'm getting discriminated against because I'm fat and ugly. Just heaven, heaven forbid how I'd be discriminated against if I lost my hair up front. Put me under the jail, just give me my goddamn finasteride. Put me in the darkest hell, just give me my goddamn finasteride. Please. But I'm gonna contact a lawyer and see about suing them for depriving me of my rights, my medical rights. I demand my rights. I demand. Them. I will. Ha I will get my rights. It's the law. I demand my goddamn rights. Let's see what else what happened. Basically, everybody looked at me like I was a fucking criminal. They would not let my dad bring me a cup of coffee when he came to visit me. They would not let them him bring me any book to read. But they they let they they did let him my mom bring my Bible, so I got to read that. I'm angry. Look how I'm all, I'm also ugly. One time, let me tell you the short story that happened. I don't care about, I don't, I don't give a good goddamn what you guys think about me if I'm ugly or not. It's not what you females think that matters. No homo. In 2014 when I was arrested, yeah, I was arrested. Real fine upstanding citizen. As long as I'm not good looking, I don't give a fuck. Until I'm a good looking guy. Until I'm... Put a, uh, until I'm on the mat with my song, at least I'm on the mat with my songs, until I can rap again and be significant to the young people of society. I'm talking about the like, young people, because young is where it's at. Young is hip. Young is cool. I never had the chance to young it up when I was young, so I I gotta make up. I'm I gotta make up for where I never had. Damn, my stomach's killing me. What was, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Damn, what was I saying? What the fuck was I talking about? Lord Jesus Christ, if you're taking me to heaven, if, I, is it, if it's going to get worse than Jesus Christ, will you please uh, deliver me over for the destruction of my flesh that my spirit may be saved in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ? I'm a walking medical disaster. Yeah. What was I saying? God damn it. What was I talking about? God fucking damn it. I hate the fact that my vision, I need reading glasses. I want laser eye surgery. If only I had money, I'd be so happy. Money would buy me happiness. I can get my laser eye surgery and not have to wear these fucking glasses and look like a middle-aged four-eyed bitch. Be able to read. Uh, work out my computer without having to wear, wear these fucking four eyes. Third and fourth eye. I can get stem cells and rejuvenate my body. I can walk normal. Maybe I can look younger. I could get my hair transplants, and I I would be I would be very good looking if I had my hair, and lost his weight. I could get a cool sculpt, a little lipo, and then some cool sculpting. 
Yeah. I'm selfish. I'm a selfish piece of shit. Once I get once I got the goodies I want, I'll start I'll start giving my goodies to y'all. And not until. Even if I save the world, even if I save a country full of kids, I'll be happy, but I'll go home feeling glum because I ain't got what I want. The hair transplants to, to be a good looking guy. I still feel like a Okay, I said a uh, bunch of kids. I'm happy. I feel good. Now I cannot please be good looking. As good looking I, as I was when they say when I saved those kids. I wish I could remember what, remember what I was talking about. Was it the finasteride? Yeah, they wouldn't give me the finasteride. Yeah, I'm going to sue them. They deprived me of my rights. I should I wish I had uh, not lagged ass and sued the Lenore County Jail when Head Nurse Pam almost could have killed me by giving me the wrong medication, not giving me my, giving my sleep medication, which the judge at that church had uh, issued the order to give me my med, uh, transit on the night. But at, when I was in the jail, I told them that, one of them said, well, she's not here. So even though you get a judge's order, unless, unless you can, unless they can be punished punitively for not following that order, it doesn't, it's not worth the paper it's written on. It's not worth the words that the judge issues. Man, I feel woozy. My potassium is low. I had, they gave me blood work. I had to, we got the results today. My potassium is low. My sugar's high. Now, uh, towards the end, they started giving me giving me what I want asked for. But I I, I they had no buzzer to ring the nurse. No trash can in that place, so I had to put the fucking trash in the corner, and it started to stink. That bed was uncomfortable as hell. My back is still hurting from that bed. I asked, I'm, I, I asked the nurse to come. Can you adjust this bed? Cause the in the middle was a bar, something that the bed was like this. Woo woo woo, and I'd wake up in my in my in my in back pain. I tried to, all you could do is adjust the back to go up and down. They did give me a pill. My back is still suffering. Maybe that's why I'm walking like a retard because my back, because that bed, that, uh, the bed they had, or more like, more, more like it was a morgue slab. Hurt my fucking back. So I'm going to sue them for deprivation. Of my civil rights. I demand my civil rights. God damn it, I demand them. If I had to sue the fuck out of you, you will get you will give them to me if I have to sue you. And maybe I if if I can sue you, I can get the money for hair transplants. And finally be a good looking guy. If I can get a hair transplants I would starve myself if I had to, had to be thin. I wouldn't like, I would not like it. But hopefully the, the that alley I'm taking. Hopefully this stuff right here. Will help me lose this gut. It's FDA approved. My friends on the internet call it snake oil. That's prescription. I, I'm scared when they said, you can you could suffer liver damage, but this is mostly in cases of those who take the full prescription strength, Zeneca. I risk damaging my liver to lose this but to not be pudgy and fat and discriminated against for being ugly. The lot fat people are discriminated against. Laughed at. 
Especially at the middle aged men with fucking thin and hair. I will not grow old gracefully. Gracefully. God damn it, my fucking speech is fucked up. Fucked up. I will not accept the middle aged spread when you. Uh, the middle aged spread is for those who are middle aged when you're no longer sexy and thin but you start bloating up and getting fat. I will take whatever goddamn medication I have to. And if I, if I have to risk my life, I will bypass the middle aged spread. Now, once you reach a certain age, old age, I remember this cop named Jerry. He had the middle aged spread, he was big. But when he got in his 60s, he got emaciated and he got really thin. I will not endure the phase of middle age spread. If I had to goddamn it risk my life, be sexy and thinner when I'm middle age and I have my goddamn hair, you guessed it, I'll risk my goddamn life. I, let's face it, I'd, give, I'd rather lose 10, 15, even 20 years off my life to be sexy and thin. And I uh, called a boy, not a man, or a, a kid. You look like a kid. I'm not talking about little kids, goddammit. I'm talking about a college kids. A uh, kid fresh out of college. Man, if I keep stumbling a little my, if, if I keep stumbling a little my goddamn more time, I'm going to this fist and hit my fist as hard as I can. In the past, when I, when, when I would hit myself, when I would start standing over my words, I'd hit myself good and hard. All of a sudden, I'd be able to talk. Normally, without stemming my fucking words, how in the goddamn fuck am I am I gonna be a sing able to sing songs or rap songs if I can't do so without stemming the goddamn words? Fuck this shit. This is not living. This is low quality of life. Now I did not accept this goddamn. I ain't taking this goddamn shit. God fucking di fuck this shit. I'd rather be the hammer than the nail. Yes, I would. If I only cut, if I only fucking goddamn son of a bitch could, I surely fucking would. I want to be the goddamn hammer. No, I want to be the person holding the hammer. I goddamn sure don't want to be the fucking nail. And if you think I'm a male version of Karen, I'll leave a good goddamn. Maybe I am entitled. Because I never had what I wanted in my life. I will not accept being one of those men living a life of quiet desperation, always wanting something but never ever able to get it. I will, I, I before God, I will, I give up twenty years of my life to get what I want, and that's to be the hammer, not the nail, to be, to be, fulfill my most cherished dreams. The what what is the thing that would make me most happy besides getting Jesus back? The one thing that my heart truly desires, more than I desire world peace, is to be a hot, foxy, good-looking guy. One of those impossibly good-looking guys. To them impossibly good-looking girls. To have my long forearms to those long-armed girls. That just makes me so happy when I measure a good-looking hot female's form and mine is longer than theirs. That makes me so fucking happy. That makes you so satisfied, so complete, so fulfilled. And it makes you so goddamn unhappy. My form is not longer than theirs. When it's shorter than theirs. Oh, that just makes you so you don't you do you cannot comprehend possibly how glum, unhappy. How much of drag that is. And if I had to get the goddamn cosmetic surgery, limb lifting the surgery for, to get the long goddamn forms, goddamn it, I would risk my life getting cosmetic surgery. I'm a goddamn zero? I tell I'm happy with myself. The, the, I'd rather have be a goddamn pauper in the goddamn streets and look good, have be a hot guy, have the long form, be happy, and be happy with myself. I guarantee goddamn to you. If I had the good looks and I was a pauper in the goddamn streets, it would not take me much effort to pull myself up and get money in the bank. Good money. I'm talking about good money. Living a nice ass, sweet ass lot. Because I'm not good looking, I can't get nobody to donate to me. I, it's, 
It's like twisting your arm to get people to donate to my goddamn GoFundMe account. To watch my goddamn social media videos. Look how goddamn ugly I look. God fucking damn it, I'm so... I'm a loser. No, no. I'm a loser, baby. I'm not going to sing the second part because I don't want you to think I'm um, that way. That's on my back.